Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Well, what have we here? Uh, it's a podcast. Fine. And what excitement we have today. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. I uh, was informed by my wife, the uh, director of the merchandising section of the show, uh, that uh, there were a few people who snuck in before we shut down the ordering process uh, for the T-shirts. People. And, uh, <laughs> that's all right. Well, that's no, okay. I appreciate it. But when we announced these T-shirts over two weeks ago, did we not set a deadline? Why are you, uh, why are you being anti-listener? I'm not You're being, being anti-listener. anti-listener. I'm being pro-rules. This rules- is every rules don't apply when uh, they help the cause. These people could have gotten these shirts. Someday a week you ago. will understand. No, I, I don't understand think you will ever understand. I do. I do understand. But Mike, rules are in place to make the game more fun. Well, but I thank them for Carla informed pressing me their that luck. there there was one person just after midnight, and then uh, because was it, it Eric hadn't Clapton? Been, it, it hadn't been after midnight. It hadn't been completely uh, shut down, but there was one some somewhere in the neighborhood of two in the morning. Um, two two fifty two. Two fifty-two. Thank you. Oz. Do you do uh, all right, uh, Oz? Do you have the name of the purchaser? Because I don't say it, but I want to see if you've got. Are uh, do you have the initials of the uh, the last purchaser? D M. <laughs> yes. Okay. D M. Hmm. Oh, and I bet he is an East Coaster, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Carla has he told ever in me. The past, in the past, has this DM ever done anything to call attention to himself? Let me just say this. Can't stand it. This operation now is hitting on all eight, where Carla and Oz and me, we all know it's the same person. That's it. That's what I call a tight ship. That type of organization is going to bode well for you getting your stuff when you order something from the store. Yes, in the wee hours of the morning, you didn't in include the me, last Mike. Possible. You did not include me because I got it. You know quick too. too. Yeah, yes. but you're not part of that chain. But, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, I su- it's just having Oz with the the. This is on, you know. This a is record the of, of who we had. Sartorial equivalent of walking across the front of the stage after a show has begun. Right, uh, yeah. Dennis Murphy. No, you see now the mystery is gone. Dennis Murphy. Congratulations. You were the last person in. You will get your T-shirt, Dennis. I am happy. The Don't Get Happy Society T-shirts. And uh, th- I this was is hoping great. it would at least be a West Coaster so they were thinking midnight their time. It's But funny. it's not at all. Um, thank you for your uh, T-shirt sales. And uh, we're not going to do T-shirt sales every month. We're not going to do them necessarily every two months. But we're going to do them periodically. And we're going to be offering uh, throughout the year now uh, creative and fun things to uh, to sell to you for the support of the show. And uh, the next project, I think, will be... Uh, it will be coming along probably in the next couple of weeks. So yeah. stay tuned. I'm and excited stick about it. Here. Very excited. Uh, so when I, I I have been very very uh, diligent with trying to get the show taping underway on time, and if there's anyone that has been tardy, whether it be Oz or Rob or Mike, it has been me because on days like this, um, I am responsible for getting my son to school, and we tape at eight a.m. So. I you leave have the, house. the busiest. You by far have the busiest pre-show ritual. It is, uh, but only when I have to do this, and right. so, and that doesn't happen all the time. Carla and I have been rearranging our schedules to make it work. Um, and today, I had to get to uh, school with my son early. He is in a school play tomorrow, and a school play that requires him to ride his bicycle on the stage. And so wow. uh, this morning... Is it the Book of Mormon? I, 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 it's From Away. It's the uh, musical From Away with the, uh, about the jets that land... No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> it's not the Book of Mormon. It's Is cats. it the one? It's, it's cat. Oh, because uh, Julia, she just missed out on her high school musical, which was based on the insurrection on yes. January 6th. Very exciting. Um, <laughs> so... When you realize that you are 
as a couple, yeah, somewhat intellectually challenged when it comes to areas of engineering. Loading a bicycle into an SUV, especially with all the crap taken out of the back that is used for football viewing. And we're in between seasons now, so that could all go out of the back of the car. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a fire drill. And Did first it go thing in this morning, handlebars first? It went in, unfortunately, handlebars first. Now, when you say that, you speak as though you have some knowledge. Of, I have moved a bike it, before. And I are you saying that handlebars first, probably not the best thing to do? As I recall, it's not the best way to do it. Now, also remember, I I would have, agree after my experience this morning. <laughs> I also moved furniture for a living yeah. uh, for a while. And remember when we packed up Julia's truck to move her to Richmond the first time, Robert came in and said, hey, mom, you know how dad's really bad at a lot of things? And she goes, yeah. He said, he's really good at packing a truck. So I well, still withhold that. Because probably could have used you this morning. Because you, you put got it that in kind of rear wheel. Mind. You put the rear wheel in rear wheel in first, yeah. and then that gives you the opportunity to zhuzhy the front wheel to make sure yep. it gets in. There it is. Yeah. And unfortunately, she put uh, one. What is zhuzhy? Zhuzhy is a word that my great grandmother used. I believe it is a Yiddish right. word. It just oh, means okay. finagle or you know move a little. You are a one. You adjust. are one eighth Jewish. I am. We never yeah. talk about that enough. Um, you know, you just uh, sounded like you were using a dialect. We never talk about that enough. We never talk about the fact. Uh, so <laughs> we fold down half of the seat. Yeah. And once we put the front wheel in with the handlebars, it uh, serves as what I would best describe as a wall anchor, <laughs> where it locks itself. The in. idea <laughs> of moving the bike at this point is is impossible and Carla's wrestling with it in her jammies because she has the day off that's why I took Michael uh to school today and um and then I'm wrestling she's with it. running and around we're like arguing Zsa -Zsa Zsa with her big furry it, slippers it takes all of five seconds right for uh for the argument to begin because it's just like no 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 I said we we never should have put the wheel in first like that but I should have known that uh to start with and we finally manipulate it and then it's, um, I realized that taking him to school at yes. five after seven, no problem. Because there's nobody in the workforce. Oh, you're right. Really, that has to get to work at 730. Yeah. Now, on the way back, when I'm coming in the, the main traffic flow, everybody has to be at work at either 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. or 9 a.m. And the 8 a.m., what I encounter is the road rage 8 a.m.ers, of which I am one, because I have to be here at 8 a.m., because we are, and you know, with the events of the last month, it has been extremely a source of pride for me to get the thing up and running. I think people will notice that the shows have been running uh, up for consumption earlier. Oh, it has yeah. been a benefit to the show to do that, and we're very happy about it. But at the same time, my competitive nature... And it's you are competitive, that, yes, yes. It's such that I want to, uh, I want to get here on time. Today, not one, but two uh, moments of road rage, and I want to go on record as saying what I did. I don't condone. If you do what I did, you risk everything, and I am not being. I am not overstating it. I am telling you, I am not proud of my behavior. All right. I am not proud of the way I did. Not May I ask one... a question, a geographic yeah. question before you proceed? Sure. So many people, like myself, have, if best, a vague notion of the way the roads are laid out down there. Now, in Washington, D.C., the traffic goes one way in the morning, and the traffic goes another way in the afternoon because people yeah. are headed in in the morning, yeah. headed out. Is there some sort of uh, industrial hub that no. one direction is going to be. It's just no. people out and about. It's people getting to work in both directions. Okay. Probably a heavier, uh, definitely a heavier flow uh, from north to south than from south to north. So that 
uh, when I, I take my kid to hate, school. Hate a heavy flow. A heavy flow is difficult, uh, but the the heaviest traffic would be returning from his school, which is downtown. Okay. When I'm taking him to school, I am going north. When I'm returning to my domicile, I am going south. All right. And the real issue uh, is going south because that, to me, I, I guess you would think that medical offices, business locations, it, while it's not a hub, they would be concentrated south of where my kid's school is, even vape, though my kid's school shops. is downtown, technically, yeah, yeah. More, yeah. more towards downtown. And with the bicycle and the uh, he's character counsel, uh, character counsel, which means he opens doors and greets people. He's a great kid. Yeah. And he knows that daddy is in a state as soon as he gets in the car uh, and because daddy and mommy wrestled like a pair of absolute morons with the front wheel of the bicycle. And I'm just, there are certain things about me that are self-loathing where I loathe myself. I loathe myself so completely by not processing the way to manipulate a bicycle wheel just like I, I loathe myself for not having an ability at mathematics. It's okay. not something I, I would have, if I had to go back and do it all over again, I would spend hours forcing myself to learn mathematics. I would, I would force myself to learn engineering. And, and I would force myself but to learn you wouldn't be basic here. carpentry. You wouldn't be here. If you but I love the idea of being able to. I would love the idea of being able to be skilled at math, be skilled at uh, handiness in a yeah. home, and uh, and that that's just when I really get mad at myself. That's what it is. When I'm sitting wrestling with the front wheel of a smaller bicycle, and I am just uh, my heart rate is through the roof as I get in the car, and my son picks up on it. But then we have a wonderful, fun. Drive down to school, so and you are then, able to you're able to compartmentalize it and get away from the self loathing. Oh, 100 percent. I mean, the the bicycle's in; it's going to get out of the bike. Uh, it's going to get out of the uh, car easily, even though it didn't get in and and placed in Not there perfectly as easy as it could be. But it'll get out easy. Well, no, I we rearranged the whole thing. We pulled oh, you the, did? the okay. yeah. We 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 definitely backed it in after the fact because it was stupid to put the wall anchor behind the seat, which locked the handlebars in. I'm I so can so right perfectly now. visualize it's just, it. You and your you know, self-loathing, uh, you baby. I hate beer. it. God, bless I hate you. that about myself. And we really, uh, it, it's just Michael is. Aware of the fact that he's winding down, he's going to be uh, in school till the end of May, okay. right at the end of May. So he's got the last month, and he said something today. He said today might be my very last math test, and and so he gets that it's wind down time. He was just a source of joy. We yeah. had a nice chat on the way down. That all goes by the by when I hop back in the car because now I'm looking at the clock, and now I'm seeing I have 25 minutes to get here, okay. and I was late yesterday. And I'm not going to be late today. And that's when uh, you get out on the, the highways and byways and you confront everybody. That And I can't, by the way, I am unable to take him to school at like 7.15. Can't do that. Won't be able to let him out of it. The, they open the doors at 7.30. Right. They require parents to drop off at 7.30. That's just, that's the way that's, it, it works You know, That's school. more of a modern thing. When I was a, a student, they had festival seating. And until... <laughs> Your parents would drop you off at 4.30 in the morning. 4.30, and we'd all wait out in line, and it was all good until two fifth graders were crushed to death. Crushed to death by a <laughs> runaway steamroller as I go back to the 20s. Uh, still call them steamrollers. That's right. Well, you need them to make the, make the dirt flat on the roads. And man, today, Rob, everybody. <laughs> there was, uh, I talk about the... Uh, and these are people, God love them. They're slaying the dragon. They're out there. They're out there. They're they're doing their work. And uh, you know the you every city in America has this in the suburbs. The aggressive pickup truck truck driver. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. The aggressive pickup truck driver is nothing new. I get it. It's the way it happens. And I didn't really uh, need to flip him off, Mike. Uh, but well, first of all, I. 
and slide into the right lane behind people should him. know your child is no longer in the car when you do this my child is no longer in the car. thing and i'm trying to get the lane that's going to get me fast so there's a lot on the three lane road right. known as the uh 41 which is also referred to as the tamiami trail oh i've been T- on it tam for tampa miami for miami i'm sliding back and forth sliding back and forth and this guy doesn't have a dog in the fight when I slide in in back of him, but I guess he didn't like that I was too close in back of him, and he brake checks me. And then I get back in the other lane, and by the and then he cuts me off. Mm. And that's when I, I couldn't help myself. And this is when you take a chance, because down here in the state of Florida, stand your ground Florida, when that middle finger comes up, you don't know what's going to happen. Well, when so you I, do it, when you do it, it's more for you. Than him. I do this. I go like this. Boy, like you do right it in there in the middle. Like you're looking for trouble. You're looking. I'm not for looking for trouble. You. I'm spontaneously reacting to a guy that cut me off and break checked me count, within you gotta, two minutes. You got to count to ten, man. That, you're going to get yourself shot. It's no good. What was the? You don't uh, need to tell me something I already know. How I, old I is this guy done. in the in the truck? It could be anywhere between 25 and 45. I have okay. no idea. But he's a young dude with wide tires on his little <laughs> penis mobile as he's, you know, being tough guy. Tough guy. I don't care about tough guy. I've never had a problem no, with tough guy. No, you like courteous guy. I, I don't. <laughs> so, but I have the presence of mind to say as soon as I do that, I lay back. And then he speeds up ahead. Not to be seen again. All right. So and he's out of your no lights. further conflict. Then I am driving uh, maybe another 15 minutes up the road, and I see that there are two left lanes jammed, and there is one lane that it's empty, and I'm going to get into the left lane. Well, at the moment, I'm going to get into the right lane. By the way, I know what I just said. I think I'm everyone understands. Into, I think everyone understands. I'm going to get understands. into the right lane, and there's a car. has to be doing 80 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. who just slams his horn on me. And then spontaneously again, the middle finger goes up once again. (sighs) Twice in a morning? Twice in a morning. I apologize. Do not try this at home. This is dangerous. This is when people jump out of cars. Did you do the the same wind-up that you did with the first one? No, that was much much more spontaneous. Okay, because the guy came out of nowhere, right. and uh, and he was a big dude too, a big dude in a little car. <laughs> he was in a he was in uh, an older model like uh, Tercel, and uh, nice. you know that had the paint burned off of it. Sure. But that's another thing; you never know what his world is. Yeah, you he know? could be. He could have just been let go. He might see my fancy SUV and say, "I'm going to take out." I'm going to take out an old person today. <laughs> so that's it. I am not proud of my behavior. This is, I say this so he I don't do it again. He gets out of his car like Michael Douglas. <laughs> it's falling I watch, down. I watch videos of this stuff that I happens know. all the time. I know. It's terrible. And it's it and it's just not something I should do. And it's it's embarrassing. And I it, it's idiocy. And this means that I if this happens again, I take care of all of it by sending you a text in the morning. You and Oz a text in the morning that easy. I'm going to be five minutes late. Easy, easy, easy. Do that. But Do you not know why this is happening, right? You know why this is happening because yeah. the other guy was late every day. My and and that that's what not that's why what caused happening. the that's what caused he the last fight. No, he doesn't cause traffic. He doesn't cause pickup trucks. You're there. I'm here, and you're there. No, I'm and saying this is because of the last guy that I know. worked with us. What are you I, saying about pickup I, I'm, trucks? I'm now? saying that he doesn't cause you to be late. It's the other things that cause you to be late. And I know it drives you crazy, but it no, shouldn't. No, you're not understanding the message I'm getting. The competitiveness of me obsessing over the time I totally is because understand of the other it. guy. I, I don't totally understand, understand what you it. said. But what I'm saying is that it's no different than it was before, and if sometimes you're five minutes late, but it that's is different cool. than it was before. Well, I know now in your mind it is. Yes, it is. But it is okay. Then it is. But I'm saying, do you care? You, I do care that you are upset about it. But I want you to know that it's not breaking. I my value heart. it. Okay, I understand that. I do. Right. I do. But I want you to know that 
it's not driving me crazy, especially when you keep me updated. If you're going to be late, then you're right. five minutes late. All but right. Well, that's that. I want you. Know, I that's want where you. it kind of came from today. Okay. I understand. I do. I do. And, you know, with a new guy on board, Oz, I like to. Uh, uh, by the way, there uh, for you bonus show uh, fence sitters. Yeah. And you bonus show subscribers. I'm going to go on record right now. Uh oh. As saying. Yes. That this Friday, uh huh, on the bonus show, yes, we may reveal the great and powerful Oz. That would be something. That will be something. I don't know. I haven't made a final decision yet, but I have to ask Oz himself. Oz, would you be amenable to uh, revealing your identity on Friday's bonus show? Sure, and not sound like a chipmunk anymore. Yeah, and not sound like a chipmunk anymore. Or, because, or you know, the it's really nice to have. I want to have somebody that we can always talk to. I do. Too. Uh, you know, that's part of it too. And so that's uh, that's it. And you heard uh, that's his answer, and that's a good. Uh, uh, you know, Oz and I almost slipped again. Yeah, Oz no. and I have a way of communicating where he answers a question in such a way that I track with it. I know what he wants. So that mm -hmm. that's a yes. That's an enthusiastic yes. And so count on it. This Friday on the bonus show, we will reveal. The great and powerful Oz, and uh, if you are, if you're curious, and a lot of people are, they're the P ones that like to know these type of things. Right. Um, I'm looking forward to it because it'll be a uh, it's it'll be a new day. So I love it. Count on that on Friday. We Do will you know reveal the name. He, he's actually acquired a new nickname online. Did you know that? What's that? Gapo. Gapo. G A P O, great and powerful Oz. So oh, a lot like of people Gape, are just calling Gapo. him Gapo. Well, I think we can always call him Oz, but I, I yeah. don't think that uh, you know that uh, will also you know let you know what's going on because we've made some significant changes to the show and mm -hmm. we're very excited about that. And uh, it should be uh, well then fine. But that's getting back <laughs> to the other reason why I don't like to be uh, late because uh, you know new impression and I want uh, I want everything to be. On the uh, on the up and up with I uh, agree with time and uh, you've done a uh, nice job and Oz has done a nice job with getting the shows up for public consumption so I'm very very as happy early as possible uh, that's what we want that. we want when you especially for you uh, you East your what your West Coasters it's almost like morning drive now they can download it for their way to work which is great. I should also mention that uh, today I was using my wife's car uh, my wife's fancy car uh, because my car uh, day two. In the shop. Well, t technically the third day. We uh, well, no, we're yeah, we're going into uh, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, uh, Monday evening I dropped it off at the. So key on box, the third the day box. it should rise again. I'm not quite sure uh, it, with your Jesus analysis uh, <laughs> yes. if that's going to happen. But um, what I love, and I love this with any business, I love online scheduling. I yes. love online communicating. Mm -hmm. I love uh, I love all of that because it's clear. There is no room for uh, a gray area. So um, I, all of that information I received via text that there's the key drop. I can do it that way. And then I got one follow-up call that was uh, responsible. What I got yesterday was online uh, the estimate. And I have they to approve the estimate. They just email it? Or how do they do they, it? They, they text it. Oh, okay. And they text me a link with a detailed photographs, everything included. And I know... I uh, I was so. Why are you chuckling? Well, you know, photographs of the work and photographs of your <laughs> your repair guy. Just something tasteful. No, <laughs> photographs of the worn out part. Oh, okay. So no photographs of the car repairman, which includes a the brake pads and B the rotors. The cooling system. Oh. The air filter. And a few other things, too. Oh, a, a full oil, you know, a lubrication. Sure. Uh, oil sure, change. Yeah. Oil and lube. How are you on maintenance, the scheduled maintenance of your uh, car? Diligent. Okay. Diligent. So I'm this also is just aware normal wear. Normal wear. I would assume with a car with uh, about 34,000 miles on it, uh, that's normal wear and tear. Now, there are people, so. I'm sure, I'm going to be deluged by people telling me, <laughs> telling me that, no, you don't. No, I don't care. I'm doing it. Do you still it's ride safe. the brake, Mike? Do you just keep your foot on the brake all the, the time? The type of driving I do, 
on the aforementioned Tam Miami Trail. So ta, I'm sorry. Ta. 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 Fa. Da. A. Ta. A. Ta. Yeah. People ta. don't know that. People don't know that most of the roads in Florida were named by Nell. <laughs> Content. Can't. Ta. Fa. Uh, ta. You, you, ta. you turn left on Anale Onk Onk. <laughs> it is a. It is a. Uh, you speak Nell. I forgot how much uh, that brings me joy. That you uh, you speak now, it's wonderful. Uh, Tam Miami t- Trail yes. is a brake heavy uh, route every day, and uh, and when I'm ta- and it's usually when I'm taking my kid to school or anywhere where local driving. I'm very happy with the uh, driving situation down here. I know I mentioned traffic, but by and large, compared to the D.C. area, which was oh, uh, much worst. much longer, uh, mm-hmm. you would linger longer. It is. Uh, it's fine. So I think that the maintenance is um, is necessary. Okay. So that is why I approved without doing. And I also think that going to this uh, independent repair certified repair shop yes. is a better value than going to the dealer. In fact, I'm almost certain of it that it's better than going to the dealer. Was uh, it a? Uh, was the quote the price quote? Was it? Life changing, disappointing, or about what you expected? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you have to give me another category. You can put disappointing, okay, uh, what I expected, or um, a hassle. Okay, of those three, which is it? It's a hassle. It's, it, that's, that's Nell on uh, Route 41, <laughs> otherwise known as the Ta Miami Trail. Uh, she's so upset you know i'll be collecting social security this month 30 days jerry (laughs) let's just say it's nice that the first payment from that fantastic administration will be going into the pocket of a car repair shop well you should just call the social security administration and have them mail your check just just uh, yeah forward it to them Exactly, and make but it out to also, cash. It's it's also like forty thousand miles stuff, so I get it. It, it works. is. But now yeah. here's the dilemma because now I have sunk tires, brakes, uh, brake rotors, and brake pads into this vehicle, and um, they the way it's explained to me with the lease is that they're going to do it anyway, and they're going to charge you. So if the car has that kind of wear and tear, and you say. I elect to just drive on the bad rotors and the bad pads. They will get you in the end. Do you believe that is true? I, I would. I believe it's true. It's it's all electronic. You get the warning. You get the warning electronic. Yeah, I guess you're right. Because in days of old, even ten years ago, you could turn it in and hope that they don't pick up on it. And they do a like more of a visual inspection. But now they have electronic sensors. So if you do not, and it's all done that way, which makes it more. Look, I know there might be people screaming at me right now. You didn't need to do it that way. But I have. The car has been significantly upgraded now mm-hmm. uh, or will be. They didn't. That's the one thing. That's the, that's the one thing they didn't tell me is when. And they didn't reach out after they told me how much. They told me what, but they didn't tell me when. They'll tell so you know, know what they'll do. Did you? Hopefully when did you today. sign off? When did you sign off on it last night? Yesterday, after right after the show. You have my guarantee, as a guy who has bought crappy cars before, that yeah. they will be done with it today. That's not okay. a big deal for All them. Right. Well, that's then good. they're going to notify I, you when it's done. That's fine. I can live with that. I'm fine with that. Don't and I like the off, idea. Though. I like the idea of getting into a vehicle that is safer than it was before. That's can't fine put with a me. Price, can't put a price on the safety of your family, Mike. But at the same time, um, now when it comes time in August to say goodbye to the car, it is making me think long and hard about, you know, I've invested in this vehicle. Yeah. And why should they reap benefit. the benefit? Yeah. All things being equal, so that's the uh, that's the dilemma. And you know, Rob, that this yes. is a departure for me. It is. This is a significant departure. This is the type of stuff where <laughs> when I go to sleep at night, I cry myself to sleep. I know. When this would not be an issue for me 
20 years ago. You this would love, not. in the past, you have loved getting rid of cars and getting I love new getting cars. Rid of cars. You love getting and rid I of cars. And I have car. to say, uh, this was Carla's car. It became my car, and I have a lovely relationship mm-hmm. with this car. I think this car is wonderful, and I, I, but I like the shiny and new, like we all do as Americans. Yep. Don't we? Uh, doesn't every red-blooded American like a new automobile? Isn't yes. there something exciting about it? You no matter have what the it new is. One and you want to have the new phone. You want to have the new and the best. If it's something that you're going to be upgrading all your life, nothing better. Uh, yeah. so the last time, I, I will probably never in my life, now that I'm along in years, never buy a new car again. What but do you I mean was, along in years? You're in your 50s. Yeah, well, you know, you can't. I'm more than half done. You know this. I'm not going to make it to 100. Think, don't think that way. Don't think you, you're. I mean, I at uh, the Social Security age can think that way, but I still have gas in the tank. It's why we're laying out things for the future of the uh, of the show. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, That's well, Mike, I don't about. plan on dying in I mean, the you next. Don't, you don't see yourself ever purchasing another new car? Maybe not. I mean, because you know why? It's- you plan to keep. Your Subaru no, no, until no, no, you no, die? No, no, no. I, well, I or would you write, would get another used car? I would one. get another used car because okay. I think that I, the only reason I got this new is because I flipped you the, wrecked other the other one. Yeah, and the insurance helped out a lot. It's very expensive to buy a new I car. I think we could reveal that now. I think the statute of limitations is What's over. That? that You purposefully rolled that car on the Dulles Access Road. <laughs> It was That's very nice. I, um, I had my uh, my nephew go out to the Dulles Access <laughs> Road early that morning and put a wedge <laughs> on the side of the road. Because as you know, it's virtually impossible to flip a Subaru. Because Rob's of its hanging low upside down by his seatbelt saying, I'll get a new car for this. <laughs> and Mike, they have a notorious low center of gravity. When I talk to my salesman, at the dealership, and the, he remembered me because I don't. That was a Subaru that you rolled. A sub- I Subaru rolled a, SUV. I rolled a Forester, and now I okay. have an Outback. They're very similar, but, but this the one's a little wider. But the Outback and is a little uh, upgrade. Yeah, yeah, it's the next size up. And right. the thing is that they have a notorious, really safe center of gravity, almost impossible to flip it. And when I talked to my. You proved uh, them wrong on that one. I sure did. And mm. I said to the salesman, I said, uh, like to get a new car. And he says, what's wrong with the old car? I said, I flipped it. He said, how? how I mean, did that's, you flip it? I can't tell you. I you don't know. A, I you, was. I, you had a memory lapse. I did. And it was. it. Most of the damage was the front driver's side. So I think I hit someone on the front driver's side, and somehow that allowed it to flip. I can't tell you. I was not aware of the moment. But the uh, So you went into do, do you remember so you're not aware of the moment. I'm gonna try to take you back to what you might remember. Do you remember that you rolled the vehicle? Uh, immediately that you went into a roll immediately or I was, was aware the- of the roll. I was aware of going upside down, yeah. <laughs> It's really funny, Mike. I'm glad that you are in. Was it a single it. roll where you land up, uh, you end up on the hood, and you, or did you roll a couple of times? Mike, have you ever seen um, the mountainsides of Stop. California? Stop! Don't be, don't do shtick. I want to know the it truth. It was, it was a one flip. From, so you rolled the car onto its top and slid yeah, and I believe and it was cl- and skidded. I believe it was clockwise. If I were to reverse engineer it, I think it would have been a simple rear ending on my part. But I may have accelerated, and that's what caused the flip. <laughs> it's just amazing. You, it the, was the beginning force of a you bad, had. bad year for me. Just yeah. so you know. Yeah. Just so you know. Do you think and, you did? You think you like blacked out or something, or you were just daydreaming? I was probably a mix of everything. It was, as you know, the day following a funeral. I was not due to the due to the state of the uh, statutory laws in the state of Virginia. We will not ask Mr. Spiewak any more questions. I was not medicated. I had been sober for almost a year at that point. I think my mind was just a little overwhelmed, and it uh, I let it drift. And you can't do that, especially not on that road. And uh, flip the car, and uh, it was it was really scary. Mm-hmm. It really was, and. Uh, yeah. My mom said, one "When of the did worst- you? When did you kind of focus? When did you realize that I'm in a? Well, I mean, did you? When did I you remember, come to? I remember being upside down, but not realizing I was upside down. 
if that makes okay. any sense. Yeah, because you were to, in a state of shock. And I was upside down in the car, and when I looked out my window, instead of seeing, like, feet, I, or a face, I saw feet walking because my head was really close to the pavement. And wow. people leaning down to, are you okay? And I really had to reorient myself because I was in the seat, seatbelt holding me in. Now, Subaru should know that I... <laughs> If you're gonna roll a car, roll that one because it was solid as a rock, and I was I was fine. The airbags deployed, and uh, I was <laughs> able to get out through the. <laughs> Mike, it's not funny. It's not bangs funny. are any harder than the airport. Airbags are going to explode. So um, I, I was right. able to climb out the uh, the window, which was shattered. And right. uh, they the front window me. was uh, the windshield was no no uh, the I, I went out the, that was shattered, but that safety glass. Okay, so, so it, it stayed cracked. Yeah, yeah, I was able to uh, get out the driver's side window because I and couldn't did open it, the did door. Did it like explode when you when you did it pop I, open? The glass, the, the glass was everywhere. It was okay. broken. It was already yeah. open, and then right. uh, I was able to get out. And my mom says the worst phone call she gets is when I call and I say, first of all, I'm okay." And yeah. she says, what happened? But that's the right way to do a call like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. the That's the, you know, the, the correct way uh, to do it. And you did it and you're fine. But I think, uh, you and know, when I aim higher. It, aim higher for this show and for the success of this show. A brand new car. Show. I would love it. I would love let's, it. Let's aim for that. Okay. Yeah, because, like, what would be, and I'm not talking about outrageous. I'm talking about something that would be aspirational for you. Aspirational uh, a vehicle for me that would be aspiration would be another brand new Tahoe. I love okay. that car so bad. A oh, GM and, uh, General Motors automobile, a yeah, brand uh, new one with all the bells and whistles. All oh, the, the bells way, and whistles. Yeah. That, all right. Uh, very popular. Very very popular. I love. But, we know. are. We wore ours into the ground. We put nearly two hundred thousand miles on it, and I miss right, it. Hold on. I do. Oh, you're going to check it out book. in your book. Go into yeah, his boot. Go into the book right now. Go into the Let's book. see. All right. Well, there's this, the D's. I want the C's. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right. You saying you uh, you want a Tahoe XL or do you want the? Uh, well, I mean, let's go top of the line. Regular Tahoe. Let's right, go with on. the XL. Oh boy. Oh, did I? Did are you? Can you still see me? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Hold on. I messed up. No, you're fine. Up, up. Well, no, I mean it's for me. I got it. Oh, okay. You're still there you hi. Saying, hi. Hi. Welcome back. Hi. All right. The uh, the Tahoe. Let me see yeah. here. Uh, like the Suburban, the Tahoe's independent rear suspension improves ride comfort handling. Through it. This massive vehicle is also very functional. Standard V8, 10-speed automatic. Got a lot of stuff you like. Yep. Uh, the Premier trims electromagnetic dampers significantly improve both the ride and handling. The enormous cabin is super quiet. Controls very easy to use except for the tricky gear selector. It's a big step up to get into the Tahoe. And the tall, and that's fine for you because yeah. you're a big guy. Mm -hmm. uh, the tall hood cuts forward visibility. And then, uh, okay, the uh, to give you an idea. Right. All right. Your Subaru, and I'm going to get these out. Your Subaru, and this is Consumer Reports that I'm right. using. They don't your, take advertisements. Uh, Subaru no. Outback is rated 79 out of uh, a possible overall 100? score in Consumer re Reports. Okay. Your Tahoe? Yeah. Your, your Tahoe is 52. Wow, really? And the, bat, the worst thing about the Tahoe is reliability. No kidding. That's what it says here. You know? Well, cause, but you know, uh, I guess got, my Tahoe was... God, you know, it, it was 20 years ago. That's why. And um, it may be price range, suffered. base price range, 54000 to about 80000 That's about what I expected. Yeah, for, the, I, uh, for the Tahoe. So just be aware of that. It's you know? certainly more than the Subaru. But you know what? As years go on, Subaru makes a lovely looking SUV as well. Maybe I do that. I've been so delighted with our Subaru. It's the engine with Subarus. It's yeah. that lawnmower engine they have. We got to take a break. It's right. that lawnmower. Put a bigger engine in them, but then they wouldn't be Subarus because people no. that get Subarus don't care about the engine. They care about their their latest pair of hiking boots. That's what they care. What are you? About you're like you're talking crazy. I don't have any. No, hiking it's outdoorsy boots. Mainers that like uh, Subarus. It's the uh, state flower of Maine. For Mike, sake. I love right. the outdoors. I'm glad you like the outdoors. We'll be right back. Anyway. Hey. Let's hey. face it. Let's face it, people. Face it. Everybody has to deal with bugs in and around your house. True. If bugs are even a minor problem for you, you have to check out our next sponsor, Pesty. 
Pesty is a do-it-yourself pest control company on a mission to provide pro-grade pest control products at an affordable price. With Pesty, there's no more waiting all day with stacks of cash for the bug guy to show up when you can spray it yourself in a few minutes. While other pest control companies charge hundreds of dollars they and do. make a one-size-fits-all plan, Pesty makes a customized treatment plan for you based on your location's bugs and climate. And the best part? Pesty is kid and pet friendly, so you don't have to worry about their safety. Plus, Pesty offers a 100% bug-free guarantee or your money back. Seriously, no questions asked. Rob, I know you are Look, enjoying Pesty right now. You know what, you know what this is, Mike? This is the Pesty application device, and it is so easy. You charge it literally on your computer with a USB cord, right? right. Then you fill up the, gag, the bag that has the poison in it. You attach it here. And then it's automatic. Look, it sprays for you. You don't have to pump anything. You don't have to throw or anything. It is a rechargeable, reusable sprayer. And you're your own this. pest guy. All I did, Mike, it took me like 10 minutes. I went and I, I did all the seams of my house, meaning that I have not seen one ant this year. And ants are a problem at my house because I have dog food right okay. by the door. Keeps them all away. And here's what's so cool. You get the kit. They even include little plastic gloves for when you handle the poison. It is, is do it time. yourself. It's time it to do it. It is the time to protect your home from bugs for less with Pesty. Uh, head to Pesty.com slash TMOS and use the code TMOS for an extra 10% off your order. That's Pesty.com slash TMOS, P-E-S-T-I-E for 10% off. And make sure you use our promo code so they know that we sent you. Hit the thingy, Rob. Hey, look at the Kraken. No ants on him. No, no flies Pesty is the bestie. There you go. Uh, we start today, uh, well, you're already not supposed to ask people if they're pregnant or what gender uh, they are. Now there's a new one. Okay. And I'd like to discuss this. All right. Uh, you can't ask someone if they took Ozempic to lose weight. Uh, <laughs> even if you're one of the most famous people on earth, here's a case in point. All right. Melissa McCarthy posted some pictures of herself looking thinner than usual. You've seen those. I mean, of course. she's been up and down in her career. Yeah. Barbara Streisand replied, quote, did you take Ozempic? Well, the internet went off on Barbara to the point that she apologized. She called Melissa a friend and added, quote, she looked fantastic. I just wanted to pay her a compliment. I forgot uh, the world is reading. Uh, for the record, Melissa wasn't offended at all. A TMZ reporter caught up to her and asked if she thought Barbara was out of line. She said, quote, I think Barbara is a treasure and I love her. All right, look. Um, I really believe that when you're losing weight, there's nobody that's been more public about using medication to lose weight than I have. Right. I don't care. I think that it's important to point out that when you're on these medications, you still have to toe the line. It, it, it's still, in order for me to successfully lose my weight, it's not just the medication. It's the fact that I know what I'm putting in my body mm -hmm. and I know how much a day I'm doing. If I was to, you know, if you think you go out and you take these injections and suddenly you go to McDonald's and eat eight quarter pounders with cheese, that's incorrect. What it does is, it is I call it a willpower assistant. Yes. And there's also a blood sugar component to it as well. But does everything have to be shaming? Does everything? I'm not shamed. I, I let the world know. And it's not because that we sell the products on this show sometimes. It's because I was doing that before anyway. Yeah, because I'm not shamed by it. I know that I have to do other things as well, and I know that I took the step to do it. And it's it's not uh, it's a, is it an easier way? Absolutely for me. Absolutely for some people. Is it yesterday? There were all these uh, comments out in line about uh, Ozempic mind, or you know that people are feeling depressed and blah blah yeah. blah, and going that. I don't know whether that's true or not either. I know that it's, it's just constant. That there is this negative stigma. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you, if you are 85 to 125 pounds overweight or more, 
and this sheds pounds and keeps you alive and keeps you healthy and allows you to play with your kids. Who gives a rat's ass? Tell yeah, the world. I agree. Admit it. Now, you'll I notice agree. that Melissa McCarthy, with her response, I'm not sure if she admitted to it or not, and I don't care if she I did. Think, yeah, I don't think she she did admit to it. It I doesn't know matter to me either way how she lost the weight. I'm glad she's lost weight. It's good. The big, the big thing yesterday was is that Ozempic users are now uh, arriving places late. <laughs> You're an ass. You are <laughs> such an ass. All of that, and I'm waiting for you. Your seasoned response, and I play my crackly sound effect. Uh, Chris Hemsworth was handsome. so taken. Yeah, well, he's this is a this is a story about handsome okay. Bob. Okay. Chris Hemsworth was so taken by Brad Pitt in 1994's Legends of the Fall that he named one of his twin sons after his character Tristan Ludlow. Now, I think there are two movies that. Uh, came out around that time. There's Legends of the Fall and there's A River Runs Through It. And it right. might be Pitt, Brad Pitt at his absolute dreamiest. Uh, Chris? Oh, I disagree. At, what do you think the dreamiest Brad Pitt is? I mean, he's always dreamy, but the way yeah. he presented himself in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, forget it. He looked Yeah, well, that's really the good. older Brad yeah, Pitt. Yeah, older. Well, you know I like an older man. Uh, Chris and his brothers used to watch it, uh, the movie Legends of the Fall, growing up. And he says, quote, there's never been a more beautiful man on the screen. So when his wife was pregnant, they rewatched the movie, and he told her, quote, is this not the coolest character in the world? I think one of our kids names, name, uh, needs to be named Tristan. Chris named the other twin Sasha. <laughs> After Borat. No. Of course. Another sexy man. Another. My brother Bilo. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, you'll never get this. La, 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 la. No. Uh, he, know, he named his, <laughs> his other twin, Sasha, after a stuntman friend. Uh, the boys are 10. Hey, I have a 10-year-old. He also has a daughter uh, named India, who's almost 12. So that's, oh, okay. that's cool. And yeah. I, th I think Brad Pitt, I don't know... I just don't track with that movie because maybe I haven't watched. Uh, I remember. I haven't being watched it often. Slow is what I recall. I just really? think it was a slow-moving movie. Julia is named after a Hollywood star, sort of. Did you know this? Julia Louis Dreyfus. No, my daughter Julia. Her middle name Julia, is Julia. Julia Roberts. No, Julia Spiewak is named after David Addison from Moonlighting. Her middle name is Addison. Uh, oh, from the okay. show Moonlighting, and right. so uh, she's it's, she's kind of named after Bruce Willis. My uh, son is Michael William O'Mara, named mm -hmm. William for William Holden. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Well, you know what they that's always for say, that. Mike, that's call <laughs> Bill Holden for hookers. <laughs> Why is William Holden? Is it the tragic death of an alcoholic that makes Could me be, laugh? Could uh, be. You know, know what? If you don't like that joke, folks, here's what you do. You pause this podcast, go watch Network, then come back. I, oh, uh, my name God. is William. He's I cigarette He is oh. so cigarette And he, he is holding on to leading man status by the thinnest oh, of threads. my God. Oh, yeah, it's Faye Dunaway in that movie, too. She, that's, that's the best she's ever looked. Oh, my God. That's Still too holding. funny. Anyway, I love it. Uh, way to go. Uh, we recently found out that John Bon Jovi, uh, I must have missed this. Apparently, he enjoyed the carnal side of the rock and roll lifestyle. Oh, he's got a documentary he's... that's floating around. That's why. Ah, uh, there it is. Mm -hmm. He's been with his wife, uh, his high school sweetheart, forever. Her name is Dorothea. In a new interview, he revealed just how much he strayed, give or take. Quote, I got away with murder. I'm a rock and roll star. I'm not a saint. You know, I'm not saying there weren't 100 girls in my life. I'm John Bon Jovi. It was pretty good. Well, honest. Right? Yeah. Being honest. 100 uh, seems low for him. Interesting you mentioned that, especially oh? uh, one who had a free pass. Right. Uh, or at least a very forgiving lady. Yeah. Kiss your good lady for me. Uh, <laughs> hi, we're Ross. We're just getting dressed. Yes, we're getting dressed. Going to a charity, dude. Um, <laughs> guys like Gene Simmons, we've had Jane. Yeah, Gene Simmons on the show, and he said, you know, the forces of gravity. Mm -hmm. He talks about uh, uh, Lemmy from Motorhead. He's dead, right? Isn't Lemmy yeah. from Motorhead dead? Yeah. Uh, they put their body counts in the thousands. I hate it when they put it that way. I know. Body count. Will um, Chamberlain, too, right? Yeah. Uh, with due respect, uh, they did not quite measure up to John in the looks department, which you, you would agree is true. Yeah, I think right? so. Yeah. Uh, but John made it clear he would never let any extracurricular activities jeopardize his relationship with Dorothea. Quote, 
There is no doubt in my mind that this world revolves because of her, because of what she did to keep the kids right. When she does what she does to keep me right, what we do together to keep it right. No doubt about it. I, look, I am I, my philo- one of my philosophies. Uh, in addition to don't get happy, is judge not, lest ye be here, judged. Here. But I have always believed. This is my feeling. It when you uh, when you pursue extramarital relationships, I believe that the greatest danger is that with that level of intimacy, you will come across someone that will elevate it to more than sex. Right. That's right. the that's what I've always believed. I'm not saying that you might have an open relationship, but I'm saying when you have that open relationship, you have stacked the odds against you in a way because if one of these flings yeah ends up being something more then it might uh, you know rock your world and especially your significant others world. What I say agree. you? I agree. I think that is true. I think that you know, there is a difference between a physical and emotional attraction. And if you get into the neighborhood of an emotional attraction, trouble will start. But you can't do that, I don't think, without opening the door to physical attraction. Another thing that troubles me is that his wife is named Dorothea, which makes me think she might be 97 years old. Dorothea. and It's an uh, old-fashioned yeah. name. And do you regret uh, letting your wife uh, travel to Japan to see another man? No, not at all. I'm glad because okay. the other man was Lemmy from Motorhead. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, if the Skittles Taste the Rainbow ad campaign lives rent-free in your head, now you can live rent-free in a Skittles rainbow. Uh, Skittles has announced a new promotion where they're offering a one person, one, only one, the chance to live in a tiny Manhattan apartment for free for a year. It isn't just any apartment. It's super colorful. Oh, this, Mike, read slowly because I'll be taking notes. This sounds good. It's super colorful. (laughs) To wait and live by yourself in a Skittles apartment? Great. Great. Uh, There uh, is a lot of Skittles decor. So if you have a sugar habit uh, and are easily tempted, it could be intense. If you're trying to visualize this fun house, it looks like the kind of place you can imagine a divorced middle-aged Ronald McDonald moving into after his uh, his clown wife was banged by Lemmy. That's right. Uh, here are the specifics. It's a Great. tiny, wow, 353-square-foot apartment with one bathroom not far from Midtown. Maybe they used mine. It sounds like it. I wonder if you'll need that bathroom after eating all those Skittles. Can you imagine what that bowl is going to look like with the food coloring? <laughs> yeah, like spin art. <laughs> Even uh, at that size, a year of uh, free rent is a huge number for this location. The building also offers a fitness center, a roof deck, an outdoor grill, a laundry room, and bike storage. That sounds your, great. <laughs> your lease would run from June 15th of this year through May 14th of 2025. So it's less than a year. Yeah, but, it uh, is. But you, you can get that toehold. Uh, you get your sugary toehold in New York City. Yeah. Uh, you can enter for a chance to win now through Tuesday, May 21st, first at Skittles.com slash Littles Living. Right. You know what, okay. Mike? I'm going to hold off for the Hershey apartment. Where everything the Hershey is brown. Bears. Yeah. Se- season tickets to the Hershey Bears. I hey, love it. For Mother's Day uh, this year, you can ask your mother if she wants to go out and eat, and then you can ask her if she wants to go out to eat with you. According to new research, 31% of moms will consider dining out with friends, 21% will consider a date night without their kids, and 10% may dine solo for Mother's Day. Regardless of who's going to restaurants, they will be packed. According to Open Table, Mother's Day, the number one busiest day in restaurants last year. The second biggest day was the Saturday before Mother's Day because they're going out for the same holiday. I guess. Overall, 54% of Americans plan to dine out this Mother's Day, and that's even higher among millennials and Gen Zers like your daughter. There I you have go. never taken Carrie out for Mother's Day. I've always observed it, but I've never taken her out. Just another one of the uh, neglectful holidays like Valentine's Day where you say, you know, you're lucky. You're lucky. Perhaps you ought to take her out this Mother's Day just to we, say what, thank what you. What she likes is flowers, 
and chocolate and for me to cook for her something that she loves and maybe okay. have my mother over. All but right. We've never good. gone out because you know why? It is a hassle and you can't, if you go to a place that's that crowded, you can't enjoy your meal. So you can't yeah. do it. Well, you deal with the lemmy marks. That's all I can say. Uh, your nightly routine, finally. Of Where did social this hair media. come from? Well, this big, dark, dyed black hair. Your nightly routine of social media scrolling could be deadly to your love life, at least. Okay. Known as parallel scrolling, the habit of silently swiping on your phone while laying next to your partner could be a death sentence for your relationship. Well, color mine dead then. Yeah, me too. Dead, 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 Dom, <laughs> if that's the way it goes. Here's the quote. I don't believe it. You're basically decreasing the chance of intimacy and affection or just generally engaging with your partner. Uh, that's according to Tracy Ross, who's a New York City-based couples and family therapist. Well, F you, does she Tracy. Live in, does she live in the Skittles apartment? Connection is critical for a strong relationship, and it needs to happen regularly without fail. <laughs> Laying in bed can be a time to connect with each other. Something yeah. Ross says many couples last. Her clients often complain that the other person is constantly on their phone. or Everybody's constantly on their phone now, for God's sake, okay? Yeah, Color Ross. my relationship dead, Tracy. Family, marriage therapist, like the one that I use that gave my... White business cards from divorce attorneys at the time. Is Worked out okay for me, though. Thank is you. it okay that Tracy is banging John Bon Jovi? <laughs> no, it's Lemmy. Oh, I forgot. Thousands. We'll be right back on the Michael Mary Show. Let's talk about our friends at Legacy Box. With Mother's Day fast approaching, it happens to be Sunday, May 12th. It's a great gift for the whole family. Relive moments like wedding days, first steps, or the embarrassing haircut you had in the 1990s. I had Remember, one. horrible. Because you, you had hair. I Reconnect did. with your family's history and hear your grandmother's voice again for the first time. Hello, Lemmy. <laughs> Just send in your legacy box. Skittles. And you'll get everything <laughs> back on the cloud or a thumb drive along with your original. So easy. Legacy Box digitizes over 15 different types of analog media. So whether it's VHS tapes, Super 8 film reels, or photo negatives, they've got you covered. Thanks to Legacy Box, all of our family's histories can live on with digital clarity and no degradation. One of my mom's favorite gifts ever was a video I made about her entire life. Not a dry eye in the house. I gave Nailed it to her it. for her 80th birthday. Now, thanks to Legacy Box, it's going to live forever. Join over 1.5 million families that have trusted Legacy Box with their memories. Go to LegacyBox.com slash TMOS to save 60% during their best Mother's Day sale ever. LegacyBox.com slash TMOS. Uh, we go to Fort Myers, Florida, my hometown, Rob. What a Spiewak. great town. Isn't that close to the Te Miami Trail? Do you know, uh, it's known as the reddest area of the state of Florida, which is a very red state now. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I happen to live here. Uh, Lee County, Robert E. Lee County, Florida. Where Look, I didn't choose it. I stumbled upon it. I wasn't thinking about Confederate generals when I purchased my home here. Tell it the just truth. Worked out this way. No, Tell. no. Yeah, that's right. I, uh, I, you know, I lived. I, I lived near Lee Highway in Virginia, and I live uh, near uh, in Lee County. Check down your here. search. If you check Mike's search history, it's all about. It says uh, Americana is mm -hmm. what Mike likes. <laughs> no, I look up. Uh, it's not uh, hate. It's heritage. That's um, beautiful. And put it in quotation marks. This is my wonderful area. The Lee County Sheriff's Office uh, said a woman threw a machete at her neighbor's face after he asked her to keep the noise down. Uh, and because everything is recorded now, the attack was caught on camera. Nice. Uh, Jamie Dos Santos said he was trying to sleep around midnight on Monday when his neighbors started partying outside his house off 10th Avenue in the Pine Manor neighborhood of South Fort Myers. Dos Santos said he walked outside and begged his neighbors to keep the noise down. Uh, here's the quote. Ruby, or the girl over here, decided that she didn't like that. I said, put earplugs in and go back in my house. Hold on a second. This what? is a weird quote. Ruby or uh, the girl over here decided... Maybe she, she owns didn't... the house that he is complaining about? Uh, 
according to, let me see, James Jones said he was trying to sleep. So he's the guy that's trying to sleep. Right, right. So this is, uh, the lady says, there were a couple of beer bottles thrown at Dos Santos, uh, a couple of open can beers that were splashed on him and his trailer after getting soaked by beer. Dos Santos said his neighbor, Ruby Mancha, uh, picked up a machete and slung it at him towards his face. He said the machete missed his face, but only because he ducked in the nick of time. He said, I don't know where it came from. She was standing here arguing with me. She grabbed it from somewhere and just flung it. Uh, you know what I think it was? I think it was from the banana tree, <laughs> well, Mike, according to Dos Santos. I think that you need a machete uh, to harvest bananas, do you not? Well, I don't think I think you could. Yeah. I think if you use it with a Swiss Army knife, it might be a take a longer time to get. Those it would take, but I'm just saying tree. you don't like pick them like you do apples or peaches. You have to like well, go up and and free them. The machete hit his trailer instead and left behind a big hole in the metal. Yeah, they, it's uh, a trailer park. Do you yeah. um, are you sure it's a trailer park in Florida? Because the place was called Pine Manor. That sounds pretty fancy. Well, that that doesn't change anything. It was a trailer. That's where it happens. And have you ever a, seen a banana tree down there? No, I, uh, yeah, I've seen mango trees and banana trees, and uh -huh. I know where Pine Manor is. I've driven by it. It's close to uh, your favorite place, Dave and Buster's. How's <laughs> oh that for a segue? Beautiful. How's that? Huh? Beautiful. Did I do segue. good with that? You did. Thank you. But you know, uh, to stay true to our clock, we should probably break and then come really? back for David. Yeah. Really? Are we running that late? Well, yeah. Okay. You sure? Yep. Okay, we'll take yep. a break, and Thank we'll you. come back with Dave and Buster's right here on the Mike O'Mara Show. I didn't know you had a long one. That's uh, that's fine. Well, no, this is We're... pretty good. I think you're going to enjoy talking about this. All right, very good. We'll be back with more fun and thrills. You're listening to the Mike O'Mara Show, everybody, and I'm in the mood for a giant bag of super sticky Skittles. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Hey, everybody, 80% of men will experience hair thinning in their lifetime. They need Nutrafol a clinically tested hair growth supplement for men. Take their hair wellness quiz at Nutrafol.com slash men for a personalized hair health plan based on your specific root causes. You can purchase it online with no prescriptions or doctor's visits required. Free shipping and automated deliveries ensure you'll never miss a day. You'll see results in three to six months. We have seen it work, and it's the real deal. It is. You know Mother's Day is coming up. Why not surprise mom with a new head of hair? Everything for mama. Very nice. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement brand with over one million people seeing thicker, stronger, faster growing hair with less shedding. Take the first step to visibly thicker, healthier hair. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off your first month subscription and a free shipping. A free shipping, everybody. It's when you so go to nice. Nutrafol, <laughs> so nice, dot com slash men and enter the promo code TMOS. Find out why over 4,005 healthcare, 4,500 healthcare professionals and hairstylists recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. N U T R A F O L dot com slash men and enter the promo code T M O S. That's Nutrafol dot com slash men. Promo code T M O S. Yes, Rob came in today and said, I have Dave and Buster's news. I will now, tell you one thing okay, about uh, Dave and Buster's. Um, it seems to me, on my excursions to that particular amusement area, uh, it can get a tad pricey. That's yeah, what I would say about Dave of course, and, Buster's. and this will help offset that. Um, they have Dave and Buster's everywhere. I wasn't aware. We have three in the D.C. area. My kids have aged out. I don't go to Dave and Buster's. I've done back in the day, Mike. I did a few radio station appearances at Dave and Buster's, so I'm aware of how it is. And they've got, you know, like golf simulators, the basketball game where you have to beat somebody with that ski ball. But I also know this about the American people, Mike. Left to their own devices, they're going to start betting on things. Well, people I was going to gonna say, when you were bringing this up, um, you know, the idea of really slot machines and casinos is essentially an adult arcade. Yep. Uh, the only difference is there's more on the line, and that's really... Uh, they are child's characters, uh, by and large, and child's spinny games that people yeah. play uh, when they do that. 
And, uh, you know, and I have gotten into the habit to keep my uh, degenerate gambling down to a low roar uh, watching them online because they, they bet a lot more than I do and they can afford to. So it's if you to were uh, to say, uh, you know, you, Michael's almost out of school, say maybe on the last day of school, you know, a kid is, is screaming and, and excited and riding high and you right. said, let's go to Dave and Buster's. Would he be into it? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. He's gone for a birthday party recently. So uh, and, and, you know, and the thing is, the last people that took him there, the couple, I'm not sure which of our friends it was, but we, you know, we give him a little cash If you're going to sure. have your kid go on a, a little excursion to a place like that, you know, you owe it to the, the other of parents course, to give them the option, but they it. never yeah. take it. It's frustrating. Yeah. You know, it really is. But it's a, it's a cool place to go for kids and the 10 well, year old, too. But here's why you might think you should go along, because uh, the Dave & Buster's app will soon allow betting on Dave & Buster's games. <laughs> so, like, if you were to do skee-ball with a friend, you could use the Dave & Buster's app to actually place a cash bet as to who is going to win at skee-ball. Now, how do they get around gaming laws in municipalities is this a is only it where available the app only where o available only where it but it is available in uh all 223 dave and busters uh locations across the u.s they describe it on the app as one of their exclusive perks that now <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think that you go so you can't go into the dave and busters mm -hmm. and and say if i shoot I don't know what a good score is for skee ball. Mm -hmm. If I shoot a big number in skee ball, I'll win this. Or uh, I'm just not sure. David Buster's would make has it. not. They've not. I looked on three different sources and they haven't replied to all of them or any of them, I should say. But it says, and I quote from their press release: "The partnership will integrate Lucra. That's the uh, designer of the app." The partnership will integrate Lucra's gamification software into the Dave & Buster's app, allowing loyalty members to compete with each other, earn rewards, and unlock exclusive perks. Oh, okay, okay. So it's not gambling. It's not. It's it, Unlocking ex exclusive perks would be funny money. It wouldn't be real cash money. And you're not going to worry about the slot machine crowd if you're not talking about cash money. And by but the I way... I don't know... Here's the weird yeah, thing. Go you got to be 18 to do it. So there must yeah. be some gambling aspect of it. Yeah. I, I was, I was going to say when you started reading this that yeah. I think it would be really, really cool to incorporate that. You know, if we want to really break down yeah. family uh, mm -hmm. unity, you know, you put a little section. I, I think the arcade, every time I go into a Chuck E. Cheese, a yeah. Dave & Buster's, a game time like we have down here, I'm always, I'm always seeking out something that resembles uh, like a slot. That's yeah. it. I, yeah. you know, it's the same. It's adult arcades. That's what a slot machine is, mm -hmm. and I think it would be perfectly acceptable, but a little dangerous. As long as Do you, you don't let the kidlings in there. Do you think we could go the there. other way, though? Like, what if the Hollywood Casino here at Charlestown... Yes. Put in a ball pit. Probably for stress reduction, you know. <laughs> I, I can I only seen... imagine with how dirty the chips are at the roulette wheel. Oh, I, I, I would the imagine ball pit you would, would have be to, a disaster. You'd have to be, uh, you know, you'd have to get out of there and be de loused after you walked out of that. You know, I mean, it would be. A good de lousing is all. You get a great. head lice. You, you would have to get all the head lice off of you and get the E. coli <laughs> off of your shoulders and your clothing when you went in there. I think that. Ultimately, as we the infantilization yes. of America, you're going to have casinos in more and more places. You're going to have the casino games. There is a game now that I watch online people play. It's called Huff and Puff, and it is a is it about slot a... machine about the big bad wolf. Oh, I thought it was about Sam Huff and Snoop Dogg. No, it is Huff and More Puff. <laughs> and what you do is the bonus is you get hard hats. If you get six hard hats, you uh, you go to the bonus round. And then if you get another hard hat that lands on the existing hard hat, it goes from building a straw house. <laughs> Not that I don't live vicariously through these people. It goes from a straw house yes. to a brick ho uh, straw house to Wooden a house. wood house to a brick house. Ow. And the, the brick house is called Ow. a mansion. 
And yes. when you get the mansion, you get your biggest bonus once the wolf blows the uh, houses down. So it's it's it, you get like eight spin, you get six spins for how of much? the wheel. Uh, like a quarter? It depends on what the, what the bet is. Okay. Yeah, the value is determined what your bet is. But you go to the bonus round, and then it goes ding, ding. And sometimes you don't get any more uh, hats at all, hard hats at all. And that's sometimes sad, right? Sometimes you get enough to buy, uh, to build three mansions. And you can get a really large bonus. It's not, it's not low volatility. Let me put it to you that way. Say, it's not yeah. low volatility at all. Uh, it's very complex, but, well, not super complex, but I like watching Like it. over, I mean, it has I'm become so common. People love to bet. True story. One time my Uncle Bruce, who you met at a Las Vegas-styled uh, appearance we did out in Las Vegas. He came to both yes. of our Vegas shows. Right. He was uh, locked up uh, in the jail. I forget exactly why. But he was spending some time in the jail with some pretty hardened convicts. Right. And they uh, had a TV on, and the TV was on Channel 20 with Captain 20, who would host afternoon television shows for kids. Yeah, one of those uh, local TV hosts. Right. And in between shows, like between the Munsters and the Little Rascals or whatever, they would race gerbils. And <laughs> the convicts were betting on the gerbils. So I think given any environment, people are going to want to bet. So Captain 20 took care of his gerbils, though, I heard. <laughs> he truly did. He took care of his gerbils in a real special way. He did, there Mike. You and you know what the yeah. motto always was with Captain 20? We need more twine. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> write your own jokes, folks. That's the way it's going to go. We'll take a break. And then uh, when Busters. we come back, we've got a flip side coming we up. Do. Dave and Busters. Yes, go gamble. Gamble, everybody. And gamble. remember, if you're in a casino, huff and more puff. Check it out. <laughs> Vegas, Matt. Vegas Hard Matt. hats, Mike. By Hard the way, hats. I know people are trying to put Vegas Matt and this show together. <laughs> I have no idea whether he wants to come on this show or not, but uh, we have reached out to Vegas Matt, and I'd love to know, uh, you know, his secrets for gambling out there and the uh, amount of money and where he gets his money and all that fun stuff. I'd love and to do that. also so. how to get more mansions. Yes, more mansions on Huff and More Pub. All right, listen up. It's time to discover the transformative power of DermGlowSkin.com for weight loss. Witness the results yourself. I've shed over 80 pounds, never felt better. DermGlowSkin.com streamlines weight loss management effortlessly. Simply take a quiz, consult with a doctor, and have your weight loss medication delivered directly to you. No insurance needed. Once you begin, expect continuous medical support. And all the supplies are included, too. You can start immediately. Don't hesitate. Isn't it time to shed up to 26% of your body weight? I'm living proof that it works. Stop the food noise and reclaim your true self. Get excited and reach out to Carla for any inquiries. She's dedicated to assisting you. Dermglowskin.com. Let's go. Yeah, and before we get to the flip side. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's interesting though. that this guy, uh, I watch a lot of his videos, and on one of his videos. Vegas Matt, this guy? Yeah. Vegas Matt. Everybody responded to it that he was talking about, would you do a podcast? I'd do a podcast. And he mentions Joe Rogan, and he mentions another one. He said he did a podcast at one time. I think it'd be very interesting to talk to the guy because sure. that is how he occupies every one of his days. He releases videos every single day where he is gambling tens of thousands of dollars every single day. I find it, it will fascinate you. I wonder so, if uh, you were given out. the opportunity, I mean, regardless of the return, if could you gamble slots that much? That's a lot. I, I always think this. I always think that when you do something that becomes a job that you've done yeah. for recreation, it diminishes it. And I would think if I had to go into a casino every day, uh, it might be tedious. I also think that there is an addictive quality to it that might allow you to do that, and then you turn your addiction into a way to make a living. But I have no idea. These are questions I will save yes. for Vegas Matt if we ever get him on the show. You know what I always say, Mike, is uh, find a job you love. And you'll never work a day in your life. Hello. The flip side. Hooray for Jennifer yeah. Aniston, who is okay. endorsing a new hair care product. Uh, it's a whole line of stuff. I believe there are gels and shampoos and what they call hair paste. And I watched her uh, promotion announce. It's essentially a promotional announcement that's floating around on Instagram. And uh, I think it's terrific, but I didn't pay much attention to her hair. And now here's another addition. Oh, I love it so much. It's paste. 
hair paste. That's what I'm saying. Just uh, I love her. I, I don't care. Too. I can watch that. I mean, I'm still. I, I think she's just got magnetism, and you know, I I I enjoyed in that brief little video. Yes, a uh, little moment where it's like, Jan, we're gonna be late. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a moron. <laughs> we're I really gonna am. Be I'm late. such an idiot. This is our little family. We've got our honey. Hurry up. <laughs> we've got our detangler. <laughs> we've got our shampoo and conditioner. Come on now. The bikes in the car. Carlos, Carl, and I are waiting. <laughs> In the boudoir. So it's paste. Hair paste. That's what I'm saying. Uh, are they going to do another morning show? Is there going to be another yeah, episode? Yeah, I believe the there, there is one in the works the right show? now. Good. Great Come show. Right. Great, great that. show. Micah. Uh, I love her. Mm -hmm. You could have her back into the bedroom where you could uh, make some Mike O'Mara hair paste. <laughs> Stop. No. No, it's just no, Mike. it's carnauba no, wax and no, scent. you it's couldn't help yourself. You've gone back to that. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know why Oz writes those jokes. It's not God. me. Trust me. Gross. Um, we have both enjoyed benefits from the science, and I'm not I'm even still gonna getting use over your last comment. <laughs> God, I'm not going to my, I'm not even going to use air quotes. The science of chiropractory. Yeah. And who would be the best person or object or best person to benefit from chiropractory would have to be don't call it chiropractory you make it sound like it's quackery You're i did not use air quackery. quotes i did not use air quotes the chiropractor's probably dream patient would have the longest neck possible like a giraffe now lift your head. if you think adjusting oh a giraffe's neck would be a pain in the neck listen for the crack Here's how this Oklahoma chiropractor describes it. Being able to work on a giraffe is a, is a chiropractor's dream. I mean, it's the largest neck in the world. Dr. Joran Whitley was called in because Jerry the giraffe, owned by a private rancher, had a chewing issue. His jaw was not moving to the left. So Dr. Whitley stuck his neck out trying to adjust Jerry's. What does it feel like to adjust a giraffe? Their hair is pokey and their their tongues are really slimy. <laughs> their hair is pokey. Thank and you, doctor. Slimy. That's very scientific. Thank you. I didn't see any cracking going on during that video. I saw a lot of caressing. I, I didn't did see too. a lot of cracking. Yeah, you know, I saw you that, know, yeah. you're familiar with the ring dinger, right? Oh yes, yes, we've discussed it. Wrap That's the towel around means. the cheek and then just yank your head off your body. Fascinating. Am, am I the only one that uh, thinks that the phrase Oklahoma chiropractor sounds like a sex act? <laughs> see that one, I accept. Okay, See, when you're I've not just got to walk the line. Hair paste, <laughs> you perv. That's I didn't. What it is. I didn't bring up the phrase hair paste. All right, they Oklahoma did. chiropractor. Give her the old Oklahoma chiropractor, Mike. Oh. Uh, <laughs> trouble, Mike. The Dodgers were visiting the Diamondbacks. Okay, and uh, they had to postpone the game. And do you know why? Why? Bees! Seen here at oh, Chase no. Field, you're looking live at a bee colony that has established a foothold high atop the backstop behind home plate, and thus mm. we remain in a bee delay prior to game two of Southwest. the series here. Yep. There's the bad Arizona ones down there. And the Los Angeles Dodgers. I'm Todd Walsh. We wanted to give you an update on the Hi, situation. I want to show Todd you Walsh. some of the events that unfolded. <laughs> this graphic. was what we saw right after our pregame show concluded and the bees began swarming and obviously that's an issue. No one knew exactly how long it would take. Now we hear between 8.15 and 8.30. Blue Sky Pest Control is on their way Blue but not here in control, the ballpark Mike. yet. The fans were moved out of the way they saw this on the giant screen out here yes we are in a b delay can right imagine we'll the see field. both scheduled yeah. starting pitchers here tonight as well but hopefully we'll see you in an hour or maybe even less back now to big now inning. here's where this it gets good it. the beekeeper made his way that's the beekeeper entrance onto the field here at chase well, beekeeper field. He was greeted <laughs> by a standing ovation by the fans here waiting to see if this game would he's not in one of his crazy bee suits though no he has the bee suit with him and when he finished they as i said as they said he got a standing ovation and they let him throw out the first pitch you the know, game went on i uh i lost my virginity to be delay she was a new orleans uh prostitute Go over, see B Delay. Did B you? Delay will take care of you. Yes, sirree. Hello, everybody. Uh, they asked, actually, since it was a Dodgers game, they asked Shoney, Shoei Otani how yes. he was doing with the delay. Oh, mm -hmm. no, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! I'm my eyes! My it, eyes! Ah! 
It's interesting because he doesn't speak English, Rob Spiewak. Mike, in times of great stress, we pull the best out of ourselves. And then he performed the Oklahoma Chiropractor. Yeah, the Oklahoma Chiropractor. Try that at home. Yeah, you'll you'll end that's, up in traction. That's uh, all that's I got it. for you today. We got to get out of here. We'll be back with a brand new episode tomorrow. Thank you for buying our T-shirts. We appreciate that. More good stuff coming on TMOS Store. Dot com and uh, we'll see you tomorrow with a brand new episode for the great and powerful Oz and Mr. Rob Spiewak. This is Mike O'Mara saying so long, everybody. <laughs> the Bee. Want more? Make sure you check out the Mike O'Mara Bonus Show. Get it at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Mike O'Mara Radio Entertainment. Right. So what do you want now? Well, if I have to teach you how to be a reporter, Ollie, I'll do that later. <laughs>